All right, here we are. We're pulled in here to Spalding, and uh, we're gonna see if these fish have moved in here yet. I don't know if they have or not. I checked it last week. I didn't, couldn't get a bite in here. I actually caught uh, two down the way here, back in the back of that other pocket. But they weren't very. I mean, they were. 10 and a half, 11 inch fish, but that's all I caught. So anyway, we'll see what this rain has done to them. Only one way to find out, and that's fish. You sit here and try to overthink it all day long. Well, they're gonna bite, they're not gonna bite. So one way to find out is get on the water and figure it out. It's a nice area. Fish will move in here. And there'll be some nice fish too during the spawn. So we'll see. Here we go. First one of the day. Nice crappie. He was right on the bank there. Looks like something been eating his tail there. Put him in the live well, see if we catch any more. He was right off that brush there that's in the water because of this high water. It's up to 610 as of today. It's went up a couple feet in a day or so. So that fish was right off in there. Let's see, fishing about a foot deep. Let's see if we can get another one. There's another one right there. They're in here. Good eater. Well, maybe not. It's in that same spot right there, just right out, right on the edge of that grass. Them weeds that are in the water, feeding on that. New vegetation up there, I'd say. They're not the biggest crappie, but we're going to see if we can get some bigger ones. Really, there's more than two. And we'll head around the corner. There's some wood over there they might be on too, but. You get back-to-back -back bites like that's pretty nice. So I'm thinking there's got to be some more in here, but there might not be that want to bite anyway. Drop that cork down real shallow and go right up there on the bank. I'm not going to go that shallow, but I ain't going to go much further. Let's go up about 
eight or nine inches and see what happens. Let me get right up there on that bank in that stuff. And a bunch of grass. This bank we're fishing is usually holds some good crappie. So we're going to go down it. There's a lot of stuff floating in the water. So we can get our jig in there though. Wrong species there. I think we're going to head down this other bank here. Got some brush piles over here. We'll work this bank all the way down and out and then we'll hit that spot where we caught those two earlier. I was kind of disappointed in this bank right over here. But, you know, conditions are going to get tough with these crappie. But, I mean, you can still catch them, but they're not going to be like they were. It was setting up to be great until this rain came in. So now it's going to be a little different. But, you know, it's nothing you can't overcome. You just got to go out and find them and get them to bite. So. Another decent little crappie. Get us a little, he come right off that log right there. He was a little off the bank. I dropped that cork to about 18 inches. I worked it out a little further and he took it. So let's see if we can get another one. We went by this earlier, this bank, and never got bit, and then I come back by it. A lot of times you go down one way and you don't get bit, I always like to come down it again because you get it at a different angle and give these crappie a little different presentation. With that jig, you know, you might get a bite, and obviously that worked right there. It looks like that's the lone crappie that, that wants to play today, is right the one we just caught. So there's a big log right here that's under the water. You can't see it. It's usually sticking out a little bit, but with this lake going up, it's underwater now. And I'm, a lot of, there's usually always a lot of crappie on that. So there's one right there. Ooh. Oh. I don't know if you see that cork. It kind of went sideways. So that's telling me something popped it up because I know I wasn't on the bottom right there. but he didn't want it. Water temperature 63 degrees up in here. It's went up five degrees since the other day. So this rain's kind of been a warmer rain. So it's kind of helped out a little bit. And the big ones really ain't biting today. I mean, the fish we got right now, them three are probably ten and a half inch fish. So, pretty good eaters. I mean, that's... Makes the wife happy when I can bring some fish home. Doctor said to eat plenty of fish, so that's what I'm doing. I gotta go fishing every night.
We'll fish this bank all the way out too. It's kind of slow in here right now. Usually when crappie are biting, you're gonna catch them first couple drops in. So it's kind of scattered. So that's telling me they're not fully committed in here yet. So which they should be, but with this high water and stuff, it might've slowed them down a little bit. It's gonna make it a little tougher. But we made that little adjustment, went from about a foot to about 18 inches with the cork, got a little deeper and off the bank a little further and I caught that one, so. You know, with this cork, there should be up on the bank, but some of these fish might be holding, holding off. There's one right there. Yeah, he's a little one. He was off the bank a little bit. Now that one there took it cork under like it meant business but it wasn't but about a six seven inch or so you know with this cork fishing you never know I mean sometimes the bigger fish will bite light and smaller fish will bite harder and then the opposite sometimes the small the bigger fish will bite real hard and then the smaller fish will bite light so you just never know so the tip of the day here on strike three fishing would be if that cork goes under, set the hook, because you never know what you're going to have. Okay, that's two fish we've caught on this stretch going back the other way, which we didn't, like I said earlier, we didn't have a bite. We got a south wind, so we were going with the wind in here, and we're coming back against the wind, so... You know, make that, make two or three trips down a bank if you're not going to get bit. Sometimes, like I said earlier, that different presentation. That's all it takes to get these crappie to bite. It's all how you present it to them. Well, I am going to release these fish. Since... They were the only three we've caught all day. So anyway, we're gonna put them back in the water. To be caught another day. Probably the nicest one of the day, which ain't a bad crappie, probably ten and a half inches long, but anyway. Something got him, it looked like a turtle or something. But he's gonna go back in and catch him another day. So anyway, that's gonna conclude this Wednesday evening of crappie fishing on Mark Twain Lake. A week ago, Clay and I had a great Wednesday evening, this Wednesday. Three smaller crappie, but that's the way it goes. Can't always catch them all the time. So, But we had fun, we learned something. Uh, you know, high water, it's been raining two straight days, so they've kind of shut down, so. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time on Strike Three Fishing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and we'll see you next time.